going, folks? Look at this huge dead Engelman spruce tree. She is massive. And although um, the polypore fungus and everything is um, beginning to consume her and eat her, that makes her an amazing habitat for Usnea. Um, now, <clears throat> definitely it's winter time out here, but Usnea is one of those medicines that you can gather year round. Some things to know about Usnea though is that she doesn't like to grow where the air is dirty and you're more likely to find her um, in high elevation than you are in low elevation. So if you start walking through a forest and you see that there's just not much Usnea, one of two things or maybe even three things are going on. You don't live in a place where there's very clean air. Um, you live in low elevation. You live in low, it's hunting season for something. Um, you live in lower elevations or, or you are in a very young forest. One interesting thing about Usnea is she does not really inhabit young forest. You really need your growth to be at least 80 years or older before she begins um, colonizing. Um, and I say colonizing because I know you think this is a moss, but what it actually is is a symbiotic colony of um, fungus, yeast, and algae. I totally lost it in my head there for a second, but that's what she is. She's, she's fungus, so she's a mushroom, she's an algae, and she's a yeast, and these things all grow together. Now, I know that I'm far away, but that's because I'm in a snowbank and had to work pretty hard to get here. Um, but generally, if you're short like me, sometimes you can't always reach um, the usnea. So sometimes a grabber stick works good. And then you just twist it like it's spaghetti. Twist, 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 twist. Twist it really good. And then sometimes you can pull it down. <laughs> um, now you want to be mindful not to be harvesting too much of this because it does take a very long time to grow. So I'm not going to be able to reach any more of that, I don't think. <laughs> no, let me come back across here to the snowmobile trails uh, because I know that it's you know probably pretty hard to see me from over there see what you see here isn't actually a road it's a snowmobile trail up in the northeast Oregon mountain blue mountains um, and so it, but it just makes accessing back here um, a lot easier this time of year um, you're able to find where you're going. You can follow the, um, the trail markers they put up and you can get a lot further back a lot quicker than you would if you were um, just walking. So let's see what I pulled off with my grabber stick. Um, this is Usnea. Now I'll show you the part. Let me get her untwisted there because remember I twisted her like she was spaghetti on a fork. They must not be a very good shot or they are practicing. They must be practicing. Um, shoot that many times, you turned it into hamburger. So, okay, so one thing is, look, you should be able, if you want to identify Usnea, she's stretchy. See that? See how she's, right? Almost like a rubber band, and of course if you pull too hard she's going to break. But you're going to feel some stretch, right? Um, and then that part that breaks is actually the fungus. So you see these thicker cords? That's the fungus. And then a little bit of um, kind of like you would say hair that comes off the side of it is the algae. And um, they just recently discovered that she has yeast in her as well. Um, and here's a better example. Um, that real thick part. See? There you go. See how it's stretchy like that? And that is the fungus. And it's all usable. Um, now, she's pretty amazing um, for all things staph infection. So you can think MRSA, strep throat, anything staph related that's going on. Um, this lady is your ally. Um, some people make a tea out of her, but honestly, um, I think she's... Um, more useful if you make a decoction, which is where you just make a normal tincture, and you can totally go check out my Usnea video for making a tincture here that I've already got um, uploaded. So you just make a tincture, and then you take this out of the vodka, and then you boil this with water, and you add that water back into the vodka. Because this is a mushroom, which means, you know, part of her is a fungus, so that means that you need heat and water to extract all of her medicinal properties. Um, 
She, but you can also make a really pretty cool oil infusion with this and she dries out really easy. Uh, I mean, I can go and sit this at home for the day and then by the next day she's bone dry to use um, in a salve. And you can use that topically for like staph infections and stuff like that. Um, she can do some other things internally, like she's pretty awesome for like supporting like a um, a really underworked immune system, like if you have like um, chronic fatigue. Um, and I don't know if underworked is the right word, but you know what I mean, <laughs> right term. But um, Usni is a fantastic medicine that you can gather year round. Um, there are a few lookalikes if you're not familiar with her, and the main one being Spanish moss. Now, the Spanish moss is actually a moss. This is not moss. You probably call it old man's moss or reindeer moss, but there's actually no moss going on about this. Um, but anyhow, that's Usnia, you know, and see how she really likes these dead trees. She really likes the dead and dying trees, and you see how there's not much else on the other trees like that. And then, like, if you check out this tree, this tree is just starting to die. Um, we've got pine beetle and stuff here. So this is a ponderosa pine, so she's not super happy at the moment. But you can see that little tuft of Usnia right there. And that little tiny tuft alone probably took oh, about four years, maybe three years to grow. Um, which is why you only see me taking, well, I didn't even take all of this off of there. You only see me taking about this amount or so off of that entire tree because I know that this plant ally and fungi ally, she's a bunch of things, um, worked really hard to grow. Um, and so we gather sparingly and walk deep into the mountains to get enough um, to make our medicines. So remember you are smart enough to get out here and just because it's winter it doesn't mean that um, all these plant allies and everything die off and go away. There's a lot of healing to be found in the winter. Uh, it's a lot of tree medicine and um, you know usnia type stuff, but it's definitely out here and just waiting for you to remember and know and learn that you are smart enough to do this, to get out here and get curious um, and you don't need to pay somebody thousands of dollars to learn this stuff, okay? Um, so if you like my videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you know uh, when I upload new videos sporadically and then like and comment and not only does it let me not feel so alone here on the internet it helps other people find me by telling the almighty algorithm that I'm like worth showing to people um, come get to know me on Instagram I'm really active on there have a rather large account come find me on my website and see all the things that I offer I try to give out as much free information as possible and you can get to all those places by um, following the links in my bio here so thanks for watching and I hope you get out there and make some medicines all right bye